Hi, beautiful light workers, fellow star seeds. We always hear about light codes, light codes, and they are really coming into play lately in the energetic upgrades. So what are they and how do you access your own light codes and how do you use them? There's quite a lot of layers when it comes to learning about light codes. In this video, we're going to discover and help you access and understand if you have any light codes and how do you know what light codes you have already to work with them. Light codes in simple terms are the universal templates from the universal mind, the cosmic heart, the divine mother, and divine father. It is a template of creation, a template of complex energy and frequency brought together, helping the creation of this universe in the ethereal realm. Light codes can be experienced in many ways, depending on your clear abilities. Some of you would have seen colors swirling together, creating shapes and dynamics and these beautiful threads running through each other like fabric of silk or running river. You will see these light either pulsating, sometimes they create symbols, sometimes they just swirl together as an activation. A lot of students that I teach in the beginning of their journey when they first awaken to their powers or spiritual gifts is that they start to see these light codes activating within their light body. You may also see geometric shapes as well. From the 2D, let's say, fluff life, you slowly start to see the 3D shape, and then it starts to morph, it starts to twist, sometimes become larger and smaller, and you start to tune into the more multidimensional aspects of these mathematical geometries. Those of you that are clear audience, you might also hear vibrations as well. So sometimes you might hear the quantum heartbeat of the crystalline grid. Sometimes you might hear those beautiful sounds that your angel guides bring forth. And if you work with golden light or opaline beings, which I will talk about in another video, you might hear them talk. And when they talk, it sounds like bells, crystal bells ringing. Another way light codes can come forth is through your light language or your light song or soul song. You might just spontaneously in a very state of high vibrational consciousness be able to speak light language or bring forth a passage of your healing song. And those are a way that light codes can be experienced. Also, visions in dreams or deep state of meditation, such as an ascended master or an angelic being, gifting you something. For example, Mother Quanning gifting you a beautiful crystalline lotus. Or maybe you see an archangel, such as Archangel Ariel, gifting you a very beautiful flower. The flower itself and the color itself all have different codes and different Mm, vibrational connections to your higher self and source. So understanding how you experience light codes is going to help you along your journey. Now, light codes works to positively imprint our light body and consciousness and etheric DNA. It pre presents this energetic signature and it gets imprinted multidimensionally into your being. Some other things that light codes can do is activating your etheric DNA, triggering remembrance of your Akashic records, tune into the collective consciousness, receiving a pulse or inspiration to create and channel, work closer with angelic beings or guides, becoming more skilled as a healer, or amplifying your existing spiritual gifts. In my other video, my live workshop on light codes teachings number one, we talked about the five most common types of light codes, and we'll cover here really quickly again. First one is for protection of divine love and divine light, DNA light body activation, accessing the Akashic memory, grid line upgrades, and that's the microcosmo and macrocosmo grid lines, and collective download. Some of the other types of codes are void codes, sigma codes, elemental codes, such as dragons and face, swan codes or totem codes. Oftentimes, people who are messengers, keepers, or beacons of light, who are souls that are in tune to working with these light codes, they have to go through a period of initiation. And that's for another video, it's quite complicated. But every one of us have the ability to access light codes. We're all made of light, right? We all have a divine template. But it is about how we access it and how we use it. The question is not about whether you have light codes or not, but it's about understanding what codes you decide to work with, you choose to work with, and how to access them.
So some of the foundational way for you to access your light codes is through your soul ray, your soul flame, or your soul power. Understanding these things within your soul can help you understand what codes you're working with. For example, if you've been following my work for a long time, here are some of the examples of the codes that I work with. Octarian Blue Ray, Diamond Lotus Heart, Lemurian White Rose, Light of Lemuria, Archangel Michael's Sword of Protection, White Dragon of Light, Venus Rose, Seraphim Pearlescent Codes. So how do you know what light codes you're working with? You can channel with your higher self or your Akashic records. You can also be receiving signs in the physical realm. Some of you get signs afterwards. Maybe you see the swan everywhere you go during that week. And the vibrational portal that is open is the swan code. So a lot of us, even now as I'm making this video, are tuning into the seraphim pearl lesson codes or pearl codes. A lot of us are connecting to the higher realms where a lot of these codes reside, such as the higher Venus sphere, the higher Cygnus or white swan constellation, and also in a realm called Perlia or Perlia. Perhaps readers or channelers keep telling you the same thing, like you have this type of light ray within you or you work with this light ray a lot, you work with this being a lot, or you work with this master of light a lot. You can also, if you're more an initiate, receive activations from a master already. So taking a course, such as the course that I have on Wingmakers and the Seraphim Light Codes, you can then be in the field of a mentor and an experienced channeler to receive these downloads and activations. Having a foundational knowledge is going to be really helpful because it's going to help you understand your powers, how to access them, but also very important if you're going to work with someone else. It's just respectful to have a bit of training and foundational knowledge before you work with someone else's spiritual body because it's a very, very intricate matter. And finally, there are some shadow works that you can do to help you release resistance towards embracing your gifts. For example, if resistance are created from blocks such as not enough training or judgments or doubts, or maybe you need to purify your consciousness more. Like I said, light codes are a pure template from source. And so the more pure your consciousness are, the more pure your body, your light body are, it's going to be easier for you be, to become a keeper, a bringer, or messenger of these light codes. If you're interested in learning more about light codes, light language, be sure to visit my website. I have a lot of courses specialized in these areas of spiritual gifts and to help you empower yourself, healing others, you can check out my High Priestess Ascension Academy, a school for empathic women to learn how to become a healer. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free resources, activations, and more teachings videos to come. Thank you so much, fellow lightworkers. Now go out there and work your magic.